Hello, everyone. This is Miss Tina. Welcome back to our story time. Today, Miss Tina want to show you a story. The story's name is The Three Bears. The Three Bear. Here comes a chore house. Live in the bear family. They have Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and the baby girl. Here comes a little girl. She tried to open the door. What happened to the story? Let's find out. Hello, 大家好，我是听娜姐姐，欢迎大家回到我们听故事学英文时间。今天听娜姐姐带来了一本故事书，叫做《熊家庭》，三只熊的家庭，分别是熊爸爸、熊妈妈跟熊弟弟哦。他们住在一个很漂亮的茅草屋里面。咦，这边有个小女孩耶，她正尝试开门。她是熊家庭的朋友吗？我们来看看故事喽。There is three bear live in the same house. Once upon a time, there were three bear who live in a little house in the forest. There was a great big papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and the wee little baby bear. One morning, the three bear took a walk in the forest while their porridge was cooling. 从前，从前啊，在森林的深处有一个很漂亮的茅草屋，在茅草屋里面住着三只熊，分别是熊爸爸、熊妈妈跟熊弟弟哦。熊爸爸长得很高壮，熊妈妈长得很娇小，熊弟弟因为是 baby， 所以更小哦。有一天呐、啊，熊妈妈煮了好吃的稀饭，可是稀饭太烫了，没有办法吃，所以熊爸爸说。那我们干脆出去散步一下，顺便等稀饭凉吧。熊妈妈就说：“好啊。”所以熊爸爸、熊妈妈跟熊 baby 就出去走一走喽。在这同时啊，有个小女生叫做 Goldia。这个小女生呢、啊，她在迷森林里面迷路了。她走了好久好久，好累好饿，终于看到了一个茅草屋，她就敲敲门，希望有人可以。告诉他他在哪里，可是没有人回应。后来啊，他发现这个门没有锁，他就打开门进去，发现这是熊爸爸、熊妈妈跟熊弟弟住的地方哦。While they were out, a little girl named Goldia came to their house. On the table, she saw the three bowls of porridge. So Goldia decided to try some of it. 当他进来的时候啊，他就被餐桌上的稀饭的香味吸引过来了，因为他好累、好饿哦。他看到三碗稀饭，心里想：这稀饭这么多，偷吃一点应该不会怎么样吧？我太饿了，我还是先吃一点吧。所以他决定来吃饭，稀饭喽。There is three bear live in the same house. First, Goldia tried the porridge in a great big bowl, but it was too hot. Then she tasted the porridge in a second medium-sized bowl, but it was too cold. Then she tasted the porridge in a wee little bowl, and it was just right. So she gobbled it all up. 首先 ，Goldia 先吃爸爸熊爸爸的超级大碗的稀饭，但是太烫了，没有办法吃。接着，他吃比较小碗的熊妈妈的稀饭啊、哦，可是又太冷了，没有办法吃。最后，他看到熊弟弟的稀饭的大小刚刚好，热度也刚刚好，不会太热，不会太冷。他实在太饿了，就把稀饭全部都吃掉了。There is three bear live in the same house. Now Goldia felt sleepy, so she went upstairs. She lay down on the great big bed of Papa Bear, but it was too hard. Then she lay down on the middle-sized Mama Bear's bed, but it was too soft. Finally, she lay down on the wee little baby bear's bed. It was just right. So Goldia fell asleep. 接着。他上去楼上，因为他好想好想睡觉，他好累好累哦。他先是睡第一张大床，是熊爸爸的床，可是太硬了，他没办法睡。接着啊，他睡了旁边软软的床，是熊妈妈的床，可是太软了，也没有办法睡。最后啊，他找到一个符合他的身高，然后软硬也 OK 的床，就是熊弟弟的床。他实在撑不住，太累了，就睡着了。你们看，熊爸爸的拖鞋，熊妈妈的拖鞋，跟熊弟弟的拖鞋耶。
There is three bear all in the sand house. While Goldia slept, the three bear returned home. Someone has been eating my porridge," said Papa Bear. Someone has been eating my porridge," said Mama Bear. Someone has been eating my porridge," said the wee little baby bear. And they have eaten it all up. 结果哈、啊，当 Goldia 在睡的时候啊，熊爸爸、熊妈妈跟熊弟弟回家喽。熊爸爸说：“有人偷吃了我的稀饭。”然后熊妈妈说：“有人也偷吃了我的稀饭呢。”熊弟弟说：“有人把，也有人偷吃我的稀饭，而且还把我的稀饭全部吃光光了。我现在没有稀饭可以吃了。” There is three bear live in the same house. The three bear went upstairs. They look at their beds. Someone has been sleeping in my bed," said Papa Bear. "And someone has been sleeping in my bed," said Mama Bear. "And someone has been sleeping in my bed," said the wee little baby bear. And here she is right now. 上了二楼，熊爸爸说：“有人在我的床上睡过。”哎，你们看看，熊妈妈也说：“也有人在我的床上睡。”哎，熊弟弟说：“也有人在我的床上睡过。”而且你们看，他现在就在我的床上睡觉。哎，他是谁呀、啊、？There is three bear all in the same house. Goldia hear the high squeaky voice of the wee little baby bear. And he woke her up right away. She took one look at the three bears, then she ran out of the house and into the woods. And the three bear never saw Goldia again. Goldia 听到小熊尖锐的叫声，她突然惊醒，一惊醒看到三只熊，她吓死了，赶快下床拿着鞋就往外冲，往森林的地方冲出去了。从此之后啊，熊爸爸、熊妈妈跟熊弟弟再也没有看过 Goldia 了。现在也不知道他是不是安全回到家了呢 ？There is three bear live in the same house. Today we are going to introduce the word porridge. Porridge, P-O-R-R-I-D-G-E, P-O-R-R-I-D-G-E. Porridge 就是稀饭或者是粥的意思哦。希望我们学到单字，喜欢这个故事。我们下次再见，拜拜。